Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. We're going to do your March 8 to 14 reads. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personals and accuracy, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email for personal readings at nominal rates. And you can also reach out for white pair based spells. We have in all the areas of your life to improve any part of your life, any area of your life. So white prayer based spells, as well as we have uh, self curated with healing vibrations of love, all the crystal bracelets to uncharged with pure intentions, your intentions personalized for you. So whatever you want, you can reach out to me for the same. And I feel Aquarius, you can, uh, you, you do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Plus my Instagram where I'm coming up with Aquarius chart predictions. Okay, so we have some crazy messages over here. Your person has been cheating on you and you're getting restless. You want a new beginning with someone new you just met. But this person is making you restless. I feel like you already fell in love with this person too quick. You expect a lot with this person right now, whereas um, they're giving you cold signs and you're understanding that this is not the place for me. You're walking away from a person that is not giving you any value to you in your life. You're moving on. There's a new offer that is around you. You have already may have gotten this offer. Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. You're planning of uh, leaving someone behind. That is too on and off to be with this new offer. It's exciting. This offer is exciting. Yes, you're in this two minds right now. You're in this doubt. Like, should I give this another chance or just let it go and move on to this new offer that really wants my attention right now? The message for you is that move, move, move. Move on to this new offer because this new offer is more promising than the previous one. And they are looking for someone that they can settle down with and have a happy ending with. So there's an important ending that has to happen a fallout that has to happen before you can have this ace of cups i'm seeing you may have a taurus coming in a leo coming in but i'm seeing a major new beginning this is like major arcana telling me that there's an obvious new beginning that's going to heal you from inside okay i feel like whoever you will be next after you you've been with someone that has been on and off with you they are going to heal you on a deep level like there's going to be an inner child healing taking place. Um, a lot of happiness and joy is coming with this. Your life is changing. It's becoming more like full of light than darkness. You're leaving the darkness behind. I feel like the moment you walk away, you have this person from the past feeling bad about this no contact and trying to fix things up. But I'm seeing like you can see the six of cups. Someone from the past is literally missing you. But I feel like you're not entertaining them anymore. Once you're done, you should be done. You're staying strong in your own power, not giving an F to this person and have made it clear that this person causes you immense uh, hurt and trouble and difficulty in, uh, trusting this person. This makes you anxious. You're releasing this person. So you've made it clear that you've released this person. Okay, maybe this is a Leo. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Pisces could be your person from the past since the day you walked away is stuck on you. Trust me on that. This past person is stuck on you. Whereas you're ready to embark on something new that's about to come. That's just around you. Okay. So what I'm seeing definitely Aquarius is that you're getting bored of the past. Okay. Or you're just getting bored of this person that you just let gone off because they were never there. They never gave you value. So this is actually, I feel like you have a high chance, high possibility that you're meeting your soulmate next. There's a very strong possibility. Um, you will be releasing or I feel like you've released this person you're dealing with to be with this new person that might be already around, possibly a Gemini. But since the day you walked away, as I was telling you, the past is not letting you go, but you are ending this connection with the past. Or with the person that you currently ended with. Scorpio energy for some of you. Check out my Scorpio channel for more information. But I'm definitely seeing that Aquarius. Or you've just released someone that you're stuck on from pre like good old two months I feel. Or two years. 
it's time for you to embark on this transformational love. This love is actually transforming. There's near a lot of... You never expected this connection to turn into marriage or a deep long-term healing connection. So this connection is definitely turning out into a deep long-term healing connection, which you least expected. So trust that this transformation is happening with the new love coming in. You might be fighting with your own views and you might be finding it hard to trust anyone but you. But the message for you is you really want to be in love. You have to give another person a chance to prove their worth and prove themselves. You can go slow. I feel like what you're doing is you want to go slow in this. And you want to, most of the time, you want to just focus on your goals and on your own happiness and on your choices in life. So that you don't get yourself distracted fully. You're still moving out of something difficult from the past. You haven't completely com uh, you know, come out of. But success is in your favor. Whatever you're trying to come out of, it's going to help you uh, come out. And I feel once you're moving out of this connection that you just ended, you have this loving person coming into your life. They could be your soulmate because they're showing you love. They're showing you a lot of love and respect here. There you go. So first of all, you need to retreat or disconnect from the one that you have emotions for or you may have been stuck on. Okay, because the one that you're going to be with, you will have a huge, strong chemistry with real soul. This person has nothing else to give you but love. And I feel like you that's all one person wants to heal themselves. So why this connection is deeply healing, this deeply transformational, because this person is full of love here and they understand you and they value you as a person. Someone is definitely attracted to you and is about to tell you that or is about to make a move towards you. Sorry about that. pathway official person this person has a nine to five job but is at a official level higher level like this person is an officer or a high authority person very uh, organized and has a proper schedule they are someone that cannot be messed with they might be wearing a uniform i feel you will meet this person while you're on your journey towards your dreams towards your goals towards your passion for some of you it's during traveling going out just taking a vacation that's how you meet them peaceful resolution look for a sign I feel like there's something to do with a family member you have had a fight with or a friend you have had a fight with. They want to resolve issues with you. So expect a past person to come and resolve issues with you. Okay. You might see signs that they're trying to call you, message you, then they really want to fix things. But that's up to you. If it's your love from the past, you cannot trust them again. Okay. So the one that you're releasing right now is someone that you cannot trust. So... One more message that I want to give you through universe is that stop trusting people so easily, but also do not be too suspicious. Like try to bring a, a balance between the two things. It's time that you will be healing. Some of you are walking away from a Scorpio that was extremely toxic. Okay. You're being, uh, you're being uh, blessed by Archangel Mike, Michael when it comes to your career. You have a new option in career coming in. I feel you will stand out. I feel like you have a lot of potential to stand out, but you also have a lot of people that don't want you to grow and are blocking your past. You have people that are blocking your path and don't want you to grow, don't want you to be successful. So pay attention and keep your head high and stay strong in your faith because you're about to lay a solid foundation in your career. Be thankful to anything that comes into your life because you're free. Right now, universe has given you power to choose whatever you want to. You might be at a position where you're not being told or you might be at a position of leadership, might be at a position of power real soon. You have the freedom for some of your entrepreneurs or freelancer. 
but with time things are going to work out but don't try to push into things just trust that everything is happening you're working on it okay don't try too hard and push things all you can do is just put your best foot forward when it comes to showing your work you know or making yourself better in your work yes. So a transformation is definitely coming into your life. Your love life is transforming. With that, your career uh, is going up. Okay. A lot of things in your life are changing with one decision that you're taking of letting something go that you're dealing with right now. You're becoming a love magnet. Trust me on that. <clears throat> it's because you're loyal, you're kind, and the right kind of person deserves you. Not just anyone that comes in can deserve you. So you've started to value yourself. And not give your time and attention to the, you know, unnecessary folks. Divine intervention. Universe is hearing your prayers and is granting you with the best. So you, your person is gold. Your person is a gem for you. Okay. So trust that it's happening. Right now you're working on balancing your life like a Libra. You're trying to feel free from the obligations, from the obstruction, from the instructions of people or you just want to be thinking about what you want to do in future what is your goal like what is your vision about your goal like you want to focus on these things instead of love right now but i'm definitely seeing when you're least att attentive towards these things you have love coming around you know in such a beautiful way that you will be shook by how it is uh, taking you off the you know feet night be brave your person is someone that's extremely brave and is a really protective personality and honest they have honest feelings for you could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo this could be you as well aquarius i feel if you're a man watching this then you are someone that is intimidating and you have the power in your hand you can change or turn things around and you're someone that is like fight like a warrior you are you can fight for the right and you you know that you cannot keep quiet when it when something wrong is going on you have to stand up and you have to help the one in need you're you're very helping and there's fire in your uh speech when you speak you know people cannot confront it or you know um uh, cancel on you are you getting me so you have that power in, in you. So you're very passionate and brave. So you might be taking a brave step when it comes to a decision, maybe a career, like growing in your career or going for a higher study or switch. So yeah, you're following your heart's desire. Some of you are healers. Maybe you want to be in a particular profession of healing like doctor or rising in this field or some other healing profession like tarot and other stuff teaching nursing these are all healing professions otherwise do whatever your profession is you want to put a healing touch in it everything deserves healing so i feel like you're you are following your heart you're not listening to a single person no matter if you're a junior to someone you're not listening to anyone you're just doing what makes you feel right and no one can question you you love spending time with flowers or you know just planting and gardening that's what you love and i feel that is something that heals you immensely your person may have a flower business some of you lead you're meant to be a leader okay if you've been dreaming about it start taking action Listen to what your heart is saying. Listen to your intuition because I feel like your intuition is your best guide and it's already telling you that this is what you're uh, meant to be. So you will be listening to your intuition. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see something else in your career as well. I guess. Yeah, you have people that you cannot trust. It's because you're rising, you're growing, you're going towards that leadership position you have your juniors and the people around talking behind you, being very jealous and don't want to see you succeed. Nobody actually wants anybody to see them success, successful. So you have to follow your own path. All is good. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to see what are the signs you'll be dealing with, Aquarius. We have another Aquarius, we have a Sagittarius around, we have a Libra around, okay? Very interesting. Now I'm gonna see from Aries to Pisces, what does your person feel, think about you? Aries towards Aquarius space. Aries wants to grow in love with you. They feel a beautiful friendship with you. They want to hang out with you. Taurus has fallen in love. They're bringing in this proposal towards you. Gemini. Gemini is dealing with you as well as the other person. So they might be juggling. Cancer. Is, oh my gosh. Cancer is already thinking about bringing in a proposal for marriage. They're very serious for you guys. Leo. Leo is in love, falling in love, watching you, treating you like a prince or a princess. You already know it. Virgo. Taking it slow steps at a time because this person doesn't want to get their heart broken or they're too childish right now. Libra. Libra wants to have a new beginning. They're going to tell you that they feel a strong connection and let's, let's get together and see how things are growing. Virgo. Very attracted. They're going to tell you this thing. Scorpio. Scorpio is not sure. Maybe they're not interested because they don't have you in their mind right now. Sagittarius wants a new beginning. They feel like they're the light in their life. They want to hang out with you. They want to have fun with you. You're like, you make them happy. Capricorn wants to be spaced out. They want to be left alone because they're going through a lot. And they're also doing some self-growth, self-analysis. Aquarius, I feel like they think that they don't see themselves fit for you or capable of you. So they're walking away or this is you who is walking away from uh, something for your self-love. Something that you really love for your dignity and grace. Pisces has been manipulating you over something. They're not being honest. So check out before you can totally trust this person. I am going to do charms before we end this Aquarius. started knocking on the door he's asking me to carry him for a hangout like onto a terrace so let's see we have a star here which means that you're going to grow in all the directions of your life so meet your transformation here that's a confirmation and then we have an ostrich. Ostrich is meaning of strength, power. Look how powerful the ostrich is. Big and grounded and stable energy. Okay. I feel, try to figure out what are the attributes and then link it with your life right now on Google. Get an um, uh, green aventuring because it's going to help you not just with money but with love as well. You might be thinking of going to America or just going for a higher study or going to next level in your life like rising. Go for it. Or yeah, something to do with higher study. Some of you are planning to go abroad. Different country. Russia, New Zealand, Shanghai, Holland, New Jersey, Singapore. Someone's name is Muslim here, very Muslim name, like Islam, someone's from Islam, like Husna, that's something like a name, Hussein, beautiful name like that. Wants to see girl, so most of the girls watching this, hmm. Someone's a gyne gynecologist. Any other surgeon, maybe. 
York. Someone you're dealing with is a narcissist and you have to be really careful about this person, especially someone from the past you already know. Okay. I'm seeing Hora, hours. Someone is in medicine or is just talking to me about hours. Like you're spending a lot of hours doing something particular. Uh, I feel like you're overworking. So take some time out for yourself. Yeah, you're so strong like ostrich. So earning well, you will be earning well. You're a learner. Someone's name is Shane, something like that, Shane. Someone's from Mary Lane or something like that. Someone's favorite uh, flower is garland, something like that. Yeah, garland. She, something to do with she. I feel like some of you, you're working for women empowerment or your person is, you have plans to do something for that. Yeah. That's something that I'm seeing. Someone is from Lahore. Asia is also what I'm seeing. America, definitely. Houston. Um, London, yeah. Greece. Botswana. San Francisco. Uh, Seattle. Someone's name is Saul. I'm seeing someone calls you Sir, or you have a Sir, like a senior, that's going to give you a major opportunity or a breakthrough in career. Someone's name is Harley. Oh, Harley Quinn is such a beautiful person, uh, inside out. I love that character, Harley Quinn. Someone of you, spirit animal is shark. Shan is something that I'm seeing. Someone's from Ghana. Sri Lanka. Wow. Yeah. Seoul is also what I'm seeing. Johannesburg. Something that stands with L A R. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And you have these initials in either your name or your person's name. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed the read. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share it. And I'll see you again with more stuff like this. Bye-bye.